Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Currently in the stable version of Windows 11 24H2. This is what the widget board and the newsfeed looks like. So you get your widgets here to the left. And obviously, if you have it enabled, you have got your newsfeed here to the right. And I'll leave a video linked how you can actually turn this off if you would be interested. Now, according to a post by Windows Central, Microsoft is testing out a new widgets panel for Windows 11 that replaces the MSN feed with a feature called Copilot Discover. And these are just some images provided by Windows Central. And what it does is it uses AI to curate stories based on your likes and your Copilot usage. So this is more Copilot making its way now into the actual operating system. Now, according to the post, the new Copilot Discover feed appears to be much faster with less laggy animations and scrolling. And I must admit, the stable version's news and interest feed, MSN feed, is a little bit clunky. So that could be a nice move in the right direction. And I think it kind of cleans up things a little bit as well. It doesn't look as messy, for want of a better word, as it does in the stable. And apparently all the stories that appear in this feed still take you to the MSN website. It's just the feed itself, apparently, that has been updated and replaced with Copilot Discover, as it's now called. Now, if we dive a little bit deeper into what's going on here, stories that you hover over will give you different options, including voting the story up or down, based on your preferences, bookmarking the story, and following or blocking particular media outlets. Some stories it's mentioned with videos attached will also automatically begin playing when you hover over those actual stories with videos. And apparently there's also a new notifications button at the top of the feed that highlights things such as breaking news, as we can see weather updates and so on and stock market changes. And the good news is that these notifications can be customized so you can choose to turn off certain types of alerts if you don't want them. And I think that's also a step in the right direction. I like it when we get options, especially with notifications. And apparently Microsoft is also testing a feature that lets you read the stories you click on directly in the widgets panel itself, where currently that is not the case. And as you may well know, clicking on a story will open it in your default browser. And I actually think that it's also a step in the right direction if this is something you are using and would be using. Just kind of unifying the whole experience to some degree or the other. And according to the post, the new layout moves your widgets out of the main feed, which is something we have covered before in the Insider program and in previous videos that Microsoft is testing, and into a separate widgets tab. So you've got your feed and you've got your widgets that can be accessed from the top left here, as you can see. Sorry about the image quality. I'm, I'm not zooming in too much because it's not the best image quality. And another change is the only widget that has remained on the main page is the weather widget, as we can see, which apparently can no longer be moved or resized. Now, I don't have a problem with that because I find the weather widget um, quite um, handy. So it seems more Copilot making its way into the actual OS, now with that new Discover feed. And I just hope though that Microsoft is giving us options to be able to turn this off. I personally don't think that this is something I would use on a day to day, but just putting it out there to keep you guys in the loop, like we like to do on the channel. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.